Do you find it difficult to get up from your chair if you're using a walker? Maybe you have weakness in your leg, or maybe you can't put all your weight through one leg. Maybe one leg isn't even there. What if you had an amputation? It can be very hard and scary to go from here to your walker. In this video, I'm gonna show you my secret technique I call the stagger step in order to help you get up easily and safely. I'm Dr. Sean, your PT guy, and our videos help you learn how to move better and stay independent so you can enjoy your life. Let's get started. Disclaimer. So before I go over the principles of the technique and the technique itself, let me show you the common problem that I see with people every day in my practice. Oftentimes, someone, if they have weak legs or like one of the biggest ones is an amputation. If someone has an amputation because of diabetes or whatever the case is, they have a very hard uh, time going from here where they have two points of contact to standing up and going from here to no points of contact here. See how I kind of went down? They have a hard time going from here and they're trying to, they're just, they almost are frozen trying to get get up to the walker. That's the main problem that we see. Now, I'm gonna show you how to fix that and uh, with that technique, the stagger step technique, but let me explain some of the principles that you need to know first beforehand. So before I show you the, so before I show you the stagger step technique, let me go over a couple of principles that you need to know before we do that. If I'm standing tall, to maximize my balance, if I have a wide base of support or if my feet are spread out, I'm going to be kind of like a pyramid. My feet are wide and I'm kind of coming up to a point, especially with my spiky hair. I'm kind of coming up to a point like a pyramid. So a pyramid and a big triangle that's sitting on the ground is going to be way more stable than say a pole sticking straight up. Okay. If my feet are the basis of support and they're like two big pillars, the more narrow I make them, the less balance I'm going to have. I'm going to be more challenged in my balance. That makes sense. Okay, we understand that. But what happens if you're not allowed to put all of your weight down on your foot? Or what happens if you have an amputation and you don't even have a foot? Now you're only standing on one pillar to hold yourself up. So this is important to realize because the technique we're going to go over next, we're going to create that support using the stagger step technique using the walker. Let's go over that now. So we understand the common problem and some of those principles. So now let's go over actually what to do and what the technique looks like. So if you think about that pyramid like I was talking about, that pyramid is great if I'm able to put all the weight down on my leg. But what if your leg is weak? Or what if that leg you're not allowed to put all your weight down through it? Or maybe you don't even have that leg at all. What if you only have your right leg? Well, if that's the case, if you go from here with both hands on the chair and you try to go up from here and you try to stand, you're gonna come right back down because you don't have the stability. You only have that one pillar to stand on. So instead, we're going to use the walker to almost create that leg again. So you have to think through this. If your weaker leg or the leg that you have, you're not allowed to put as much weight on, or maybe you don't even have that leg, that's the hand that should go up on the walker first. We're not going to put both hands down here yet because if you're going from here and you're transitioning from two points of contact with your hands to up here two points of contact, it goes from two, zero, two. That zero is very scary and very risky. So what you can do is you keep one hand down here and you put one hand up here. Now again, here's my hurt foot. Um, you're gonna put, because it's on my left, I'm gonna hold the walker with my left. I'm gonna place my hand here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to one, two, three. Now, what's great about that technique <clears throat> is I am stagger stepped. Okay, that's how I get the name stagger step. So I've got one hand down there, one hand up here. So there's no zero point of contact. There's always a point of contact. I leave down here, my hand's already up on the walker and I can get up 
fine. If I don't have a leg, this is creating another leg, essentially, um, the stability. Now, you do need to be careful. If you just push really hard on this guy when you're trying to get up, it's going to tip over on you, okay? This can also work with a rollator walker as well. Um, but I'm showing you this one because this one's a little bit more stable than the rollator. But let me show you that technique again. When you're sitting down, oh, that is another important part. If you're going to sit down, um, same thing. Keep your hand on the weaker leg side on the walker. Then reach back to the chair first with your right arm and then ease yourself down. That's another way you can do it, okay? So let me show you all of it one more time. You can scooch up to the front, you get your feet back, and I'm just pretending that I'm not allowed to put weight on this leg or maybe just minimal weight on this leg. And I got my hand, my right hand on this side, my strong leg and my left leg. My leg's still there, but let's say, I, let's say it wasn't or I can't put all the weight through there. That means my hand's gonna go up here before I even get up, okay? So hand here, hand here, I rock back and forth, nose over my toes down here, okay? One, two, and I push. Okay, so I go from a staggered step, a, it's almost like a stepping stone, and then once I'm here, I've got that. So I always maintain one point of contact. So that's how you do it. That's the staggered step technique. And if you want more tips and tricks on how to prevent falls, you can get that down in the link below in the description. You can find my trainings down there. And if you want more videos like this one to help you learn how to move better and stay independent so you can enjoy your life, Click the subscribe button down below and we'll see you in the next video.